Hello everyone, it's Nate here with Production Crate. Today I'm going to be giving you an overview of our newest update for our HUD extension, which is both available for After Effects and Adobe Premiere. If you're not familiar with this extension, you can install it by downloading it and run it by going to Window Extensions Crates HUD Extension. This will, upon the first time you launch it, require you to select your HUD graphics folder. This is going to come with your package to install it, and this will contain all of the elements which you can store anywhere you wish, whether it's on an external drive or on your computer. So for me, I have here my HUD graphics in this folder here. You can see we have gauges, graphs, levels, maps, screens, and targeting elements. So I'm going to select that folder and then it should go ahead and ask us to relaunch the extension. And when we do, now we will have our elements loaded up. One of the biggest updates for this new version of the extension is that we have new FUI elements. These have been integrated seamlessly into the already existing preset groups. And to illustrate this, I've actually changed the names so that you can see them here. We have a couple of new elements here, for example, in the gauges pack, which appear in my example as HUD graphic and not a gauge. You can see we have our normal gauge presets over here as well. Uh, but basically we have these new HUD uh, FUI presets, which are now integrated into these. These will be basically in the same HUD graphics folder, which you can re-download and simply overwrite any of the old elements. Now I'm going to go over a couple of bugs that were fixed in this newest version. So if you had frustrations before, hopefully now they are gone. Uh, the first one is that in Adobe Premiere, previously this tint here, when you select a custom tint color, previously this did not work. But now if we go ahead and apply our elements, it now has a proper tint and glow effect uh, that is overwritten. In the previous version, this sometimes would not apply. So if you had the issue, it is now fixed. Another awesome fix is that the imported elements, whether you're in After Effects or Premiere, will automatically scale to fit inside of your comp. So if you have a really small or a really large comp, these will fit in nicely. Just by messing around with resizing the extension, you'll also see that there are some improvements if you have used it quite a bit. The height of the extension is now much more suitable to be able to resize things and view everything and it's very much optimized to be able to now dock it inside of uh, your program and easily view everything. Another bug that was fixed is that sometimes when you first launch the extension and it asks you for that presets folder, it would continually ask you over and over in an infinite loop. This has been solved so that once you select a folder, it will remember it, or if you choose not to select one, it will not continue to ask you until you relaunch the extension. Speaking of the preset folders, if you ever wish to reset them, now in the bottom left corner of the interface, we have this reset folder icon, so you can click on that and now, if we go ahead and restart the extension, it's going to ask us to select our folder again. So of course I can go in and select my HUD graphics again, and we're all set to go. The last thing I wanna discuss with this extension update is a minor uh, inconvenience that you may come across. And just in case, I want you to understand how we can get around it. So if you go ahead and launch the extension, don't click anywhere and you go ahead and hover over the elements, normally they would appear up here and play the preview for us. But in some versions of After Effects and some versions of Adobe Premiere, you'll notice that nothing will load except for the name here. If you go ahead and click anywhere on the interface and then hover over, now it's going to work appropriately. Unfortunately, this is a strange bug that has come about in the newest versions of Adobe, and until they release a fix, there's not much we can do about it, other than make you aware that you can click to enable the previews. But that's pretty much it for this update, guys. We've done lots of bug fixes, added a couple of new features, and of course, added more elements for you guys to use. Be sure to head over to the scripts and plugins section on Production Crate and check out our HUD generator extension, which again works for After Effects and Premiere. And uh, you can download the updates of both the extension installers themselves, as well as download updated HUD elements. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. And remember, make it awesome.